This is the Telspec handheld spectrometer. The scanner itself is handheld and portable. It has a window at the front. It has a button on the top. There are ports and a power switch on the back. There are LEDs on the top. The first one is the power. The second one is the Bluetooth status. The third one is scanning. And the fourth one is for charging. Now I'd like to talk about the Tel Melamine app. This allows detection of melamine in baby formula. On the left, we have baby formula. On the right, we have contaminated baby formula. Let's scan them. So let's scan the baby formula. First, we take a scan. The information is sent to the phone, from the phone to the cloud where it is analyzed, and from the cloud, the result comes back to the phone that no melamine was found and to do two more scans. So we pick a different point on the baby food and scan again. Again, the information is sent across up to the cloud and the analysis is done and the result comes back to the phone that there is still no melamine. So we try in a different spot for the third and final time. When the scan is done, the information is sent again to the cloud where it is analyzed and the cloud determines that from all three scans, no melamine was detected. We can see this here on the screen clearly, as well as the spectral chart showing what was scanned. Now let's repeat the process using some contaminated baby food. A scan is taken, the information is then sent across to the phone after the scan is done, up to the cloud where it is analysed and a determination is made that this is contaminated baby food. Again, you can clearly see the spectrum that shows that this has melamine in it. Now we'd like to talk about the Fruit QC app. This allows you to do fruit quality control. It is important for supermarkets to monitor the fruit that they receive in order to make sure that none of it goes to waste in the distribution chain unnecessarily. Food that is diverted from the distribution chain to a food bank can be used at its full potential as well as saving money for the supermarket. So now we're going to scan this apple. First, we take a scan like we did previously with the other apps. The information is then sent from the scanner to the mobile phone via Bluetooth and from the phone up to the cloud where it is analyzed. After we have scanned 10 different apples from this same batch, we can now generate a report. We can fill out the questionnaire and then generate a report. Among the information that we gather on this report, we have bricks, which involves the sugar levels, firmness, and acidity. All of these amounts come together to tell us how sweet and how ripe the fruit is. We also show the spectral data. The report can easily be sent to other people. Simply tap the button, fill in any information that you need to in your email and then hit send. Now we'd like to cover the Telspec app. This is the consumer app. The app consists of two parts. The first part of the app is for consumer use. The second part of the app is for commercial use and for data collection within Telspec. This facilitates the gathering of information to be uploaded to our cloud. Let's start by scanning some cheese. On the left, we have some mozzarella. On the right, we have some cheddar. Let's do a comparison. First, we're going to scan the mozzarella. We press the scan button, wait for the scanner to do the scan. When the scan is finished, the information goes across to the phone, from the phone up to the cloud to be analyzed. 
and the result comes back on the user's phone. Now we'll repeat the process using the cheddar cheese. We scan the cheddar, let the scanner do the scan. When the scan is complete, the information goes across to the phone, from the phone to the cloud, where it is analysed and the result is sent back to the phone. Now we can do our comparison. Now the user can tell the difference between the two samples. Another feature of the app is that the user can record what they have eaten. In this case, I will record that I have eaten 20 grams of this mozzarella. First, I enter the details and assign it to a particular meal and a particular course within that meal. Now I can go back into my history and see what I have eaten in the past. You can see here that my mozzarella shows up under breakfast for course one. I can recall that as well in order to view past scans.